Hi guys, welcome. Today we'll create a QR code generator with GUI as you see that shows the QR code and saves it to the hard disk. For the graphical interface, we'll use Flat, which is based on Flutter for Python and makes the front end developing fast and easy. Also, to generate QR codes, we'll use QR code module, which is very straightforward and simple. Let's get started. First, install Flat and QR code via pip. Import flat as FT, then import QR code. Let's create main function that has a page attribute as an instance of FT.page. Page is the root window, and we can modify the height and width to 400 pixels. Apply the changes by calling page.update. Outside of the function, call FT.app, and target is the main function that you just created. Now we have a basic page. Let's run the script, but instead of Python, we call flat and path through your script in a terminal. By running the app with flat instead of Python, we activate hot reload feature, which means if I change something of the UI, like the height, let's change it to 500, then save the script, app gets updated by itself, and we don't need to close and rerun it every time. Let's create a text field for the inputs. Input tf equals fe.text field, and its label is code, and the button to create the QR code. Create button equals to ft.icon button. Icon is ft.icons.draw. Icon size is 35, and unclick equals create clicked. Create clicked is a function that gets executed whenever we click the button. It has a parameter that I name it e. It's an event handler, and we don't use it here. Let's pass the function for now. Create main column, which is ft.column. Its alignment is center. Controls is a list that contains ft.row for now. Draw has alignment of space between, which means put the blank space between the members and its controls are input tf and create btn. Instead of updating the page, now we call ft.add and pass main column to it, which adds the main column to the page and updates the page. Save the script, and here we go. I want the user to enter the code and by pressing the button, we show the QR code beneath them. For that, let's create QR code image which equals to ft.image, and we set the src, which is source, to a non-empty string. This is just a dummy value to prevent the error as we specify the source of our image later. Add the QR code image to the column after draw. In the create collect function, img equals to qr code.make and we pass input tf that value. Then we call img.save and pass a string to it, which is the name of the file to be saved. I grab the value of input tf, which is user's input, and concatenate it with underline qr code.jpg. Save it and let's test if the saving function works. Go to your scripts directory and test it. Great, it works. Now we need to show the qr code in the app too. For that, we need to convert the image to base64 format. With open, the name of the file, let's copy and paste it, comma, rb, as if. Here, we reach the image file that we just saved and open it in binary mode to read. Base64 version equals base64.b64 encode, and we pass f.read. This converts the image to base64. Base64 module comes with Python and you don't need to install it. Let's import it. and print the base64 version. As you see, it's a long string, but before the string there is a b-letter, which we need to get rid of. QR code image .src underline base64 equals base64 version, but we need to first decode it to utf8 to get rid of that b, which was before the string. Finally, we call QR code image that update to apply the changes. The image is illustrated properly, but it's not in the center of the page. Set the horizontal alignment of the main column to center. And there you go. QR code is shown perfectly, and if you change the code, the image will be changed perfectly. Also, they're all saved successfully.
That's it guys, I hope you found the video useful. If so, please like and share the video to support me. Thanks, see you.